Okay, so the card I'm going to be showing you today is the Explosion card and we've got a finished sample here so we're going to give you um, a little idea as to what you can actually construct and, and you can use everything from the USB to make something like this. So we've gone with this one um, on a pet theme. So basically once we pop the card open like this you can see where the explosion um, section comes in. So it's a bit like a pop-up card. You've got these fabulous concertina sides but then it just all falls back down and you can pop the ribbon around and tie it back up. So we're going to be showing you how to make this. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut out. Um, we're using black and white, obviously it makes it easier um, to see on the camera and it gives you a little bit more of an idea of the construction side of it rather than you know, bombarding it with decorations and embellishments. It's nice to just give you the actual construction side of things. So we've cut out the, um, the base card first and as you can see, it's got the perforation line across the middle. So we're going to fold the card like that and that makes our nice basic, um, almost like a six by six card. Then we have our second panel. So this is the mechanism and on your USB, uh, once you click into um, the card itself, it will show you um, all the mats, whichever you want to choose. It will also give you um, the mechanism as well. So you might want to start with the mechanism first. Uh, you might want to make your card blank first and then do your mechanism after. So what we have to do here, we have to do some folds. So if you imagine you've got your card here and this is going to sit inside and then the pop-up section is going to lift up. So we need to make sure that the score line across the middle here is a mountain fold. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky and this is the best thing to do with this is to take your time. So I'm going to just do a little gentle fold here and a gentle fold here like this. Now as you do this you will notice that some of the perforated lines start to want to pop up themselves. So we've got our valley folds here and we're going to have a valley fold here as well. So if you just gently push along those lines it will start to fold. So don't panic and if you fold it the wrong way it's not the end of the world because it will um, just fold the opposite way. So you can see we've made like our first step there. Now this bit is going to come out here. So again, we want to valley fold on this section. So if we do the valley fold there like that, and then we do a mountain fold here, and then we're going to have another valley fold here, and then a mountain fold here. So it's best just to tease it at first until you get your sections all in place. Now we're using quite tough card here. Um, it's very strong. So we need to make sure that we give good clean folds. Pop it like that. And you can see now, just because I'm teasing it and taking my time, the folds are starting to pop right up into place. So once they're folded in the right way, you can start to squeeze them a little bit firmer. So then you'll see now how it's starting to stand up like a pop-up card would do. And imagine you're making a staircase. So, you know, you would go up the three steps. If I turn it onto its side like this, you can now start to see how that works. So don't be afraid once you've got it in place like that, to do those squeezes there to make sure those folds are nice and straight like that. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got our inside section. So this section is now going to go inside the card because when we've glued them together, the idea is that this will fold flat like that so you can close it, okay? And then this section will lift up. So what we need to do, as I showed you with the original card, if I just bring that back in, we've got this little section here. So we have the fold and this is great because it means you can attach your ribbon to it. You could attach a Velcro dot, whatever you want to. You might not want to fold it in that way, um, but we need to attach this first. So what I'm going to do is pick up my front tab here. Again, it's got the perforation lines along it. So I'm going to just fold it over. Nice fold like this. And then I'm going to 
tape or glue this you can glue or tape whatever you want to do inside so that when we put this over the top it's nicely hidden so let's do that now so we'll glue that in place so let's take some of the uh, pin flare um, glue it book binding glue and this is perfect it's really strong and it, it it holds really, really well, especially when you're constructing anything. Um, so it's always good to, to have a bottle of this um, with you. Uh, I'm just going to pop a little, um, give that a little poke in there just to release a little bit more of the glue out of there. Um, and this is a good thing about the glue. As you can see, it doesn't want to come out. Let's give it another little poke in there. I made sure it's coming out at first and obviously the longer you leave it to sit there we go um obviously it de develops like a little kind of skin over the top so that it seals it so the air doesn't get to it so it's really really good for that but again sometimes you do have to just release it a little bit so we're going to pop that onto here like that and I'm, so i'm going to just make sure i line it up with the edge and let's just make sure that's in place like that along there we can just give that a minute to dry and that will bond nice and strong so if I turn it back this way you can see now that you've got your folded front which will come over the top right so now we can start to glue this in now the important part about sticking this in is that you must not glue any of the pop-up sections it, you know the tempting thing is to have it flat and glue the whole thing but then your pop-up won't work so you need to make sure your pop-up section is kind of like that and then you can see where you need to glue so we're going to make sure that we put lots of glue on here now if my glue keeps um, stopping coming out it's usually because of the the warmth in the room here so I'm going to just make sure that I get plenty on and as you can see it's coming out nice and thick now don't go too near the edge because if it is coming up out quite gloopy like it is now it will spread and we don't want it to kind of um, ooze out so what we're going to do now we've got this section with the glue on so this is going to be the bit that goes at the top section of the card here so that's the opposite end to the little flap that we've just glued on there okay so what we need to do we need to just sit this on the edge of the card like that and then make sure it goes into the fold okay like that and then you'll be able to see now through the pop-up section you'll be able to see the black card underneath and this is why we've done the cards in black and white because it gives you a chance to kind of see how it should sit and where the bits and bobs go it, it makes the mechanism a little bit clearer for you i think um okay so now we've got that section on there what we want to do now we want to lift this up and we want to do the same here so it's quite good i think in this card because it's quite self-explanatory where the glue goes really you can't go wrong you just have to make sure that you've not got any glue on your pop-up section otherwise it'll just stay flat um, so let's just get some glue on here so we know it will stay where we put it okay that's good okay so now we're going to fold this into this section here like that so if we just make sure that's pushed right back like that okay and then we're going to just leave that for a second just while that glue bonds um, because I want it to, to have a good grab there so while we're doing that uh, and letting it dry we're going to um, start gluing some mats together so this panel here has um, two mats that you can put on um, so what I've done I've cut a white one and I've cut a black one and we're going to pop these together and then these can sit on the um, card fold over if you like okay so doing opposing colors so that they um, show up nice and uh, strong I'm just glue that one and then we're going to put a mat on the front as well so we'll bring the mats in now the good thing about the explosion card is that we have um, different shapes of mats so I've just gone with the plain square ones but we also have um, like a lovely fancy edge one um, which is the one I showed you on my finished card 
um, and then there is I think there's a scallop one as well so it's really nice you don't have to just have this straight one you know you might want to do something like this for a child so you might want to make it more fun or you might want to um, do it for a, an adult and you might want it to be um, a little bit more male themed so again you probably want to keep it um, a little more kind of um, symmetrical um, or straight so there we go so well, let's just move that a little bit that's just moved down a tiny bit and this is again the good thing about this glue you've got time to move it before it does actually um, bond so there we go so we've got our mats here now so this is going to go onto the front of the card so what we'll do now we'll pop this on the front um, so let's just put a bit of glue around the edge and then we can line this up like that okay and so it's just nice and symmetrical like that and then we can take this mat and we can glue this onto onto our little flap here so we'll turn that over and then we're keeping it all nice and straight okay there we go so while that's gluing and drying uh, nice and neatly you will find as part of the mechanism we have the concertina sections so I've cut these in white now these um, take quite a while to cut because of the shape and because of the vast amount of um, kind of score lines we've got so I've already folded one and I'm gonna show you how to fold the next one um, so the idea is and don't do what I did last week where I actually glued it in the wrong way around so it wouldn't open um, so I'm just telling you that um, it can happen believe me and I was so cross with myself but anyway it's it's fine it will work fine so what we need to do we need to do um, concertina folds here so if you imagine this one is going to go on the right side of my card and this one is going to go on the left so the wider panels are what actually sit inside the card so if you take your first wide panel there and fold it that way and fold the other one the same way then you know that that is going to sit flat inside your card then we're going to do alternate folds now because you've got the uh, lines that go into the middle here it's good that you take your time doing this because we don't want to put too much pressure on those folds so we've got um, a valley fold here so the next one we want to do is a mountain fold so my way of doing this is to actually turn over the card as you do each fold so we've got that one now turn it over and do the uh, valley fold and then back over and the mountain fold and then back over and the valley fold and again keep doing that all the way to the edge it puts less pressure on your folds that's what I found anyway um, and it just means you get really nice creases in there once you've actually um, folded it all you can actually then put pressure on top as you close it up okay so we've got a couple left to do here and then once those are done we can glue those inside as well so last one here and then there we go so now if you bunch it up like you would if you were making um, a fan for instance and then you you close it up like that and then put a bit of pressure on it so you know that it's nicely nicely folded there so now we've got two identical ones but they're both going the um kind of the opposite way around now the important thing is that the shorter ends here or the the less kind of spreading um, sections go against the fold in the card so they're going to sit on here like this okay so last week I glued it in the wrong way I glued it that way and then obviously I put that one onto there and it wouldn't open so you need to make sure that it goes the other way around so the tighter sections here go onto this bit okay so let's get some glue on this section now 
um, and if you want to use double-sided tape if you're not a glue fan or you don't want to use glue that's fine I would suggest you use some really strong tape though for the construction or some of the red uh, liner tape now this time when you put this in if we can just get it bunched up like that this won't go right up to the edge so if I bring in the original one and put it on its end here you will be able to see how it doesn't quite fit into the the corner section and that's how we want it to be that's the right way to do it so let's just pop this in like this and if you just glue one of the um flat edges first line it up with your card okay and then shut your card over the top it will push that concertina mechanism forward and then you know that that's where it wants to sit so then you can give a press there like that and then what we'll do we'll let that just rest for a minute and we'll do the same on the other side so glue on this section here just like we did with the other side and what I'll do I'll turn it round so that we can see where we're putting it bunch up that mechanism so it's nice and tight and then bring it into the card lining it up with the edge there like that and again fold it over so you, so it sits comfortably and you can actually see as well you're probably going to get the same gap here as you are here and um, so that's good let me just wipe a little bit of my glue here because a little bit has just oozed out we don't really want that to happen so we couldn't get it out of the bottle at first and now it won't stay in there always happens with with our favorite glues so let's now attach this to here and if you pop your glue on both of them you will find that you can um, kind of put them both in together so if we pop that one there like that and then pop this one here like that and then bring it down on top you can then push it in like that so that it sits nicely along that edge press it down give it a little bit of a hold for a minute just so that it kind of starts to grab and then we can hopefully let that go and you can see now how once it's glued and it's dry that's your how your pop-up section works so if I turn it that way now you can see it how you are looking at it and you can see that lovely mechanism how it sits now I'm just going to push that over a tiny bit just because it's not quite at the edge there and you can do that with because the glue is still wet okay so that's how the mechanism is that's the most difficult bit and um, once you get to that stage obviously you can see how that now works all right so we've now got some mats that you can decorate the inside with now this depends on what you're actually uh, going to decorate it with so we have the um, mechanism mats and I think that's how it's um, actually labeled on the USB so that you know um, which ones go where there'll be inside mats there'll be front mats and there'll be mechanism mats as well so these two I've cut from black and white and again the white one is slightly smaller so that will just sit on top of there like that now you'll notice that you have the black edge around here but you don't have the black edge on the inside here because that's going to sit flush against your mechanism and then we have a second set of mats which sit on the base of the card and that will go onto there like that okay and then we have some little mats that go on to um, the almost like it's like a birthday cake in effect so we've got me mechanism mats that will go on there as well um, so we're going to give those a sec to dry and we're just going to get the mats now there are different shapes as well so we've got these with the lovely patterned edge it's a little bit scalloped with a little bit of a of a point as well so it's really pretty 
And if you can imagine this done in lovely bright colours or some gold and silver, um, some of your glitter card to make it like proper party style, um, it'll be a really fun one to make. And people you give the card to will have no idea that there is something inside the card that's going to pop out and give them a big surprise. So, okay, so we are going to pop these onto here like this. This is a really tiny mat. I think this is the smallest mat I've ever used in my life. It's really cute. It's a teeny tiny one. Okay. So we pop that to there. So let's pop these in place now. So we will just a line of glue on there and a line down here just a thin line so it doesn't come out at the end so this is now going to fit onto here so it's just going to slide over your mechanism which is really good it's really really neat I like that so we can press that down so you could put your um, greeting on here you could put um, one of the images from the fabulous um, collections that we've got on the USB with the animals. Um, we've got the pets on there, we've got the aliens, there's all kinds of things you can you can do with it. So your next mat sits at the bottom here. So it, what it does is it continues that um, kind of birthday cake effect right from top to bottom. Um, so what I'll do, I will turn it around in a second, show you this from the front so you can see um, how it's starting to to build up like that so it's kind of um, I don't know it's kind of highlighting the the pop-up section in the middle there so now we're going to pop our little mats on here now you've got a couple of choices because we have some straight mats as well what you can do depending on what you're actually putting on the inside of the card is you can either um, put your mats at the front like this you can put one on top or you can put one here as well but it depends if you're going to connect things to here what I'm going to do is just put the mats on the front there just to show you how it can um, how it can look okay so let's tilt this up a little bit then we can see where it's sitting and then so that one is there and then let's do the next one here Again, you could um, put sentiments on here as well. Um, you could put a message, you know, um, it's party time, for instance. Um, you could do something like that. Um, enjoy your day. Um, lots and lots of different sentiments on there. You could put someone's name. So even on a birth card, could be like the first and the second and the, um, the surname on here as well. But you can see now how that looks from the front um, and it's not as difficult as you think it will be. Once you open it, it gives you a bit of an impact, um, but it's not as difficult as you expect it to be to make it. And that you can adorn all this inside with your papers, um, with which are also on the USB or some of the elements, whether you want to... Um, draw the figures and um, colour them in and then stick them on, you can do that as well. So what we do now, the final thing to do, if you want to, is when you close it up, you can then add, if I just grab this reel of ribbon here, a piece of ribbon around it to kind of close it up. So we can tie the ribbon all the way around like we did on the original. I'll show you on the original. Um, what I did with my ribbon on the original card is I actually fastened it inside this section here before I glued the mats on so that you can at least then um, have the connecting ribbon. If I tie this round and then I'll bring in the original one just to show you how to do it um, or a way of doing it. Okay, so we can tie the bow there. That'll kind of give you an idea as to how to keep it closed. Let's just snip that end off there. So you then have your, um, your project like that, ready to go. Or if we bring in the original, with all the decorations and the embellishments, you can now see what it looks like if you add the pets to it 
and your sentiments. Um, all these are on the, uh, the scanner cut or the USB as well. So it makes it into a really fun project. And then again, we've done a little paw print on the front under the um, section here. So it's a bit of a surprise when you open it. Bring your ribbon round, tie it closed. And there you have your explosion card done and ready to give to um, your lovely recipient. We just tie that in a nice bow and then they are good to go so you have your original one I'm going to chop that down a little bit I think and then your black and white one that we've just made um, so have a go and enjoy it <laughs>